In this video, we are going to continue with percentage composition in chemistry. So this is part two. And this is just to remind you, there are few steps to calculate percentage composition. One is get the correct formula, then get the correct molar mass, and then do the right division. And then, of course, you multiply by 100. So let's begin with our first problem. In this problem, we are to find out how many grams of magnesium are present in 49 grams of magnesium fluoride. That means in magnesium fluoride as a formula, I have to find out how many grams of magnesium are there. So that's my simple roadmap and I have been given 49.4 grams to begin with and of course I need to find how many grams of magnesium I have. We cannot just convert grams to grams of a different substance. Magnesium and magnesium fluoride are different. Okay, So whenever we do this conversion we need to go from grams to moles of magnesium fluoride. From moles we cross the border, we come to magnesium and we get moles of magnesium and from there we go back to grams of magnesium there. So how we write the roadmap? The same roadmap will be grams of magnesium fluoride to moles of magnesium fluoride then this is the crossover to magnesium. So this is moles of magnesium and back to grams of magnesium. Alright, once we get the road map, you know the drill. We get the grid and we are going to actually write down exactly same things in numerator. That's moles of magnesium fluoride. This is moles of magnesium and this is grams of magnesium. So now we begin with the given. Given is 49.4. So that comes here. And the ending point is grams of magnesium. So your job is to cancel each of the unit. So diagonally across, I'm going to write grams of magnesium fluoride this comes here moles of magnesium fluoride and this one comes as moles of magnesium. Now whenever there is a ratio of moles to gram you know it's one and then grams is the molar mass for magnesium fluoride which is 62.3 grams. This is the critical part we have over here, there is a ratio of moles of magnesium fluoride to moles of magnesium. And how do we get that ratio? One mole of magnesium is this and each of that mole contains how many magnesium atoms? Just simply one. So if I want to get the ratio of moles, I can write that as 1 mgf2 corresponds to 1 mg. If it's fluorine it will be 2 but for magnesium it's going to be just simply 1. So the ratio is 1 and 1 over here and when we come over here that's a ratio of magnesium to grams of magnesium. So we get 1 mole and for grams of magnesium we get the molar mass which is 24.30. Okay, We are going to cancel the common units and your final answer is in grams of magnesium. So simply multiply numerator, divide by denominator and final answer which you are getting here is 19.3 grams of magnesium. Alright, let's do one more problem. In this problem, we are going to find out how many grams of oxygen are present 
in 156.8 grams of calcium phosphate. So there is the formula for calcium phosphate and then I want to tell you that one mole of calcium phosphate will contain how many moles of oxygen? How many atoms of oxygen? It's 4 times 2, so it will be 8 oxygen atoms. Just keep that in mind when we write the ratio. Okay? So let's begin with the given and then get our roadmap ready. So we have grams of calcium phosphate and we're going to go from grams of calcium phosphate to grams of oxygen. So we need to make sure that we go from grams to moles of calcium phosphate. Then we go cross over and we go to moles of oxygen. And from there we go to grams of oxygen. So when we write that in our grid, I'm going to put just simply A for this one and B for oxygen to make it easy. So it's grams of A here, then we have moles, moles and grams. And what we have is moles of A, this is moles of B, and this is grams of B. Okay. Alright. We're going to cancel grams of A, moles of A, and moles of B here. So, Beginning is always given, which is 156.8 grams. And when it's grams to mole, mole is 1, and this gram is always the molar, molar mass, which is 310.18. When we get this mole ratio, this is where we look at the coefficients which we get here and we have for B which we call as oxygen 8 atoms and for A we have 1 atom of calcium phosphate and when we get the next one here this is moles to grams for oxygen this is 1 oxygen atom so it will be 16 there and then everything is cancelled multiply and you divide and the final answer which you get is 64.71 grams of oxygen. 